Good afternoon, my friends. Happy Wednesday. It's the, it's the 14th of July today. I want to hear some good news. I don't know whether it's good or not. I don't know yet. But this morning, the New South Wales Premier, her name is Gladys Berejiklian, she has announced a two-week extension to our lockdown. So, uh, yeah, we've got another two weeks of being at home and uh, riding the storm out, I suppose. So, as I just said, I don't really know how to feel about it, whether it's a good or bad thing. I mean, it's a bad thing because, you know, numbers are just not getting any lower, and it's a good thing because I can still have time to, to do my quilting, to do some sewing. Yay! So you might notice the daisy quilt is off the wall. It is here on my table, and we're going to baste it and hopefully maybe start doing some quilting today as well. So yesterday I just did a really quick baste of all the layers together and then today I'm going to spray it, press it and then get started on quilting. It's a lovely day for it. It's cold and cloudy and hasn't rained yet but uh, I wouldn't be surprised if it does start raining soon. It's a good sewing day. So let's get into it. Okay, my friends, we are ready to quilt. I am sitting on the world's most uncomfortable stool, as always. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, we're going to get quilting. I've sorted my machine out. I've got my music ready to go. I've got my water next to me. I've done a little bit of a sort of test on the type of quilting I want to do. It's going to take me forever. But we're going to do, it's not so much matchstick quilting, but it's the where the lines are really quite close to each other. I will definitely not have this finished by today. <laughs> um, it's going to take a couple of days, um, but I'm okay with that. I'm I'm ready for like a, a long haul quilting session because I know just how rewarding it is at the end so get prepared for a lot of complaining on my part but it is self-inflicted so don't feel sorry for me it's going to test my patience and that's what I want so yeah uh, and by the way this is the backing fabric I've chosen I don't think I've actually showed that I've shown it in another vlog but not recently I love it it is so pretty and it just matches the purple on the front so much so yay I'm excited right oh here's the doggy can you see him hey puppy Hi, can you write my diary? Can you see him? <laughs> He's in the hole there. Okay, well, no time like the present oh. Oh. to get this started. So let's do our first line <laughs> and see how we go. Oh my gosh, there's already dog hair all over this. <sighs> Happy Friday, I think it's Friday, 
Is it Friday? Yeah, it's Friday. It's the 16th today, and I hope you're doing well. We are still in lockdown. <laughs> As I mentioned on Wednesday, we've had lockdown extended for another two weeks. So, yeah, we got until the end of July, until maybe might be able to start living life again. I don't know, but, you know. It is what it is. Nothing you can really do about it. So, I am continuing on with my quilting of oh, my Daisy quilt. And, oh, you can't see it. Ooh, can you see a little bit of those quilting lines? There they are. Yay! So far, I'm actually really enjoying it. I'm not regretting doing such close together lines. I mean, they're not perfect, and I'm okay with them not being, like, the perfect size. As long as they're, like, somewhat close together I'm okay with that but yeah so far I'm not cursing that I'm doing it this small I'm actually really enjoying it I'm really enjoying just sitting and just quilting and just taking my time and enjoying it for what it is I knew by picking this type of quilting design pattern choice whatever you want to call it it would take a while and I'd have to really dedicate some good hard time at the sewing machine so I'm just sort of breaking it up a little bit so I'm quilting up to this seam line and then I'll quilt up to the next seam line and just breaking it up into those sort of small gobbles so for today my goal is just to finish quilting this first row of daisies and then I will see how I feel uh, by the time I get there so we will just keep on quilting as uh, as I usually tell myself when I'm struggling I'm like just keep quilting just keep quilting to uh, paraphrase uh, Dory from Finding Nemo. Friday. It has been quite a while, I feel, since I've last chatted to you. I actually can't remember the last day I vlogged, so I do apologise for that. I have been caught up watching the Olympics and just trying to survive through this lockdown since I last chatted to you two days ago. Today is Friday. On Wednesday was announced that the lockdown in Sydney has been extended for another month, well, another four weeks. So, uh, we are in lockdown until the end of August, which is fun. Oh, just having so much issues with my bobbin today. It's running out, it won't go in. Just play, please, goodness sake. So yeah, we have another month of lockdown to look forward to. I am not at all going crazy. <laughs> I am not at all bored. I am. I am I'm beginning to feel the the boredom set in, even though I still have lots to do. Like I still have the rest of this quilt to do. Um, which is what I'm working on now, but there's no pressure. Yeah, it's just beginning to get a little bit monotonous, stir crazy, cabin fever, but at the same time, I don't want to say this, but I'm really enjoying it because I love being at home. <laughs> so, I don't know, I'm kind of torn. I don't know how to feel, but anyway, it is what it is. There's nothing you can do about it. This afternoon, I have been just plugging away, doing some more quilting lines on my quilt. I've already done the first half. Now I'm just finishing off the second half and then we'll be able to bind it and finish it. I knew that I would procrastinate pretty hard over quilting this. I don't know why because I when I'm actually sitting down and quilting I'm really enjoying it like I'm just playing some music I'm just chilling out zenning out and just you know really enjoying quilting which is why I do it but it's just doing it you know getting the the I don't know 
the enthusiasm and the the drive to sit down and just start quilting so that's what I should really focus on but yeah I'm just gonna spend the rest of the afternoon just sewing and contemplating what I'm gonna do for the next four weeks I am actually thinking of maybe daily vlogging throughout August it may happen it may not happen yeah just for something to do <laughs> just to try and keep uh, productive and and uh, I don't know busy for four weeks stuck at home so that's something to look forward to maybe hopefully I'm pretty sure I'll do it so yeah you are going to be totally totally sick of me anyway I need to fix up this quilting line because I started it and then I ran out of bobbin so now I just gotta fix that up and then I can continue quilting away hi puppy So I thought I'd just give you a little bit of a closer look of what we've done so far. We're more than halfway done, that's half the quilt, and I still have this row and that row underneath to do. But she's looking really great and the texture is just lovely. Let's fold it over and have a look at the back as well. I just love how like subtle it is, can you see it? It's really nice. So I thought I'd share with you some Happy Meal that I got the other day. I thought I would treat myself to some quilting pins because, you know, I've been in lockdown for <laughs> almost five weeks and I'm like, I'm going to treat myself. So I got these really cool quilting slash sewing pins on an Australian Etsy site. It's called Rick Rack by Jodie Carlton. She's based in Victoria. She's got lots of different designs on her Etsy store but these are the three that I loved the best um, so I thought I'd show them with you. The first one I got was this one. It's a beautiful little sewing machine and she says so. I just thought it was so nice and classic and I think this one actually comes in a black version but I like the white one. Then I got this one here. It's a little hexies and it says quilter which you know it's very apt and it's colourful too which I love as well. Oh, I've just noticed that the little pins on the back they're different colours as well oh that's cool this one's black and then the last one I got was the really cool tape measure I think this one is in different colours I've seen this one in different colours but I think at the moment it's just the white one available so there's my lovely sweet little pin haul I really really love them I love collecting sewing pins so if you're interested in checking out her little store on Etsy then I will pop a link in the description box below you can go and uh, have a look if you like I do also follow Jodie on Instagram so I'll put her Instagram handle down in the description box as well I think it's always nice to uh, support a fellow Australian sewing quilting person <laughs> um, store as soon as I saw these I was just in love they're so cool. I'm going to do a couple more lines of quilting, I think. Why not? There's nothing else to do at the moment. And I just think with every line that I do, it gets me closer to being finished. And that's what I desperately want at the moment. I just want this finished because I'm sick of procrastinating over it. But, you know, it is what it is. Hello, good evening and happy Saturday, my friends. It is the end of the day. <laughs> and, uh... I'm gonna do some sewing. It's just gone nine o'clock. It's Saturday night. I'm in lockdown. There's nothing on TV. No interesting Olympics stuff is on. Like there's no gymnastics or mum and I have been watching the equestrian, but there's none of that on tonight. So I was like, Ugh, what can I do? I'm like, just go and sit at your sewing machine and quilt. I I was going to do some today but I ended up pretty much being outside for most of the day just doing like backyard work. I had to mow the lawn and just did some gardening and just tidying the place up because it was just getting a little bit of a jungle out there. So I don't know how much I'm actually going to do because I cannot stop yawning. I think it might be an early night for me. Mm, I might do like a half hour session of some sewing and then like reassess and see what we're up to. So enough faffing, enough procrastinating. I'm gonna put on some nice chill out music because it is the end of the day and I don't want to get myself too like hyped up. Um, 
yeah right I mean that's not gonna happen at all because I'm not that kind of person it is Saturday night I'm in front of my sewing machine I'm gonna put some daggy music on and just quilt and possibly be in bed by 10 o'clock because you know that's what happens when you're um, a 33 year old. I actually had to ask my mom the other day how old I was. I actually forgot. I'm like, am I 33 or 34? She's like, you're 33, turning 34. Once you reach 30, you lose track of how old you are. Yeah, that's what happened to me. Anyway, let's get quilting. done for the night it's two minutes to ten and I'm ready for bed it's been a day but I did manage to get a couple more lines done and we are very much near the finishing line and I'm so happy about that this line here is what I got up to and look this is all we've got left we've got another eight inches or so to go so yay I think I should definitely be able to get that finished tomorrow. Make it my mission to get it finished tomorrow. And then from there, we will obviously move on to binding it. But I'm going to chat more about that in my next vlog because tomorrow is the 1st of August and I'm going to do my very best to daily vlog throughout August because we're in lockdown until how many days is in August? It's until the end of August, whenever that is. We are in lockdown, I think, until the 29th or the 28th. The last weekend in August. And then they're going to let us know whether we're going to be let free or we'll be going into a longer lockdown. But yeah, I'm going to start daily vlogging tomorrow, uh, which means I will edit this vlog tomorrow as well and pop it up tomorrow and then daily vlogging will start the next day for you. So I will be continuing on with the journey of my beautiful daisy quilt when I start daily vlogging tomorrow. So you'll be able to see uh, me finish it, uh, or finish the quilting anyway, and then move on to the binding and then yeah, we'll have a finished quilt and I'll let you know what I have planned for it. I think. I think I've made up my mind of what I want to do with it. Anyway, I'll chat more about that when I see you in the daily vlogs. So as always, thank you all so much for watching. I hope you're all doing well and I will see you all again very, very soon. Bye-bye.